Hi, I'm Andre. I'm going to show you how to switch materials of an object during runtime. So there are two solutions for this. Either we can uh, set a new material to the object using blueprints or use a material that uh, blends between two other materials and use blueprints to change the blending ratio for the for that material. So let's see the first one. So we have this simple material here with just one color and we're going to apply it to this uh, cube at runtime. So for that we're going to use uh, just a level blueprint because it's really simple. So at begin play we'll take the cube and set its material and I'm just gonna add a delay one second and set this to M switch our material so let's try this out so after one second you can see that the default material that we had before has been changed with the switch material that we created. Now the drawback of this method is that it changes the material suddenly so if we want to blend between the two materials we're gonna have to use the other method. So the other method let's modify this material. So we're gonna make so we're going to make two other materials using material attributes and make material attributes function. I'm going to copy the two and uh, we're going to blend between the two like this. And for the materials here you can uh, construct a big uh, and complicated material for, for this example and you can also use material functions that output directly this wire and that goes into the blend here so you can uh, have the graph elsewhere but for this we're just going to use this uh, simple color and we'll create another one let's say blue for this one right here and we're also going to use a simple, just a constant. Which we're going to turn into a scalar parameter. Then we're going to switch like this. Which is going to control the blending between the two materials. The only thing we have to do here is set the maximum to 1 because the blending is between 0 and 1. And uh, yes. So in order to plug this for the output, we have to change this to collapse this, collapse this. So for that, go into the material details here and search attribute and check the use material attribute option. So now I can plug in the material attributes. So this should be it for the material. Now we're going to create a material instance that uses this material and where we can um, actually change these colors if we want and also control the blending ratio. So let's see here. Material instance. Like this and we'll plug in this material and now if we let's say assign this here uh, we can it's not yes okay now we can use the blending function to blend between the two materials 
and we can also change the materials if we want let's say like this and it blends between the two colors so last thing I want to show you is uh, how you can do this at runtime so let's go back into the um, level blueprint here and so let's change the this to the material instance like this and copy our delay again and we'll use the timeline to change the value of the blending ratio so for that I have to get from the static mesh here of the cube you can set parameter and it's a scalar parameter like this that we have named switch so you have to use the same name as what I've given it before and for the value here just go into the timeline add the new function and I'll just put two keys at 0 and 0 and 1 and 1 like this so it's gonna go to from 0 to 1 in 1 second so we plug this in here and this should do the trick so let's try it out so as you can see it changed the material first it changed the material with this method and then we used this to change the parameter value switch which is here this one and we changed it from 0 to 1 in 1 second so it blended from yellow to blue so that's it if you have questions leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe